condo living, is it for you? Condominium, the word itself comes from two Latin words, con, which means together with, and the word dominium, which means the right of ownership. So you have the right to own the condominium and you get to enjoy it together with all the other unit owners. What are the benefits of some of these condos? Well, the biggest, biggest thing is you can just turn the key and go. You don't have to worry about exterior maintenance, uh, shoveling your snow off the car, or freezing rain off the car, or mowing the grass, or fixing the screens and the, the windows, or anything like that, or even re repairing the roof if there's a leak in the roof. The condominium itself, the corporation itself, will repair all of these items for you. But you have to pay a fee for this service, and the monthly fee can range anywhere from a low of $300 per month to a high of $1,700 per month, depending what's included in that condominium. So what are some of these expenses that you'd be paying for? Well, you'll have gymnasiums, you'll have fitness centers, you'll have indoor pools. Some of them even have outdoor pools in addition to the indoor pools. You'll also have uh, rooftop terraces. You'll have many services. Even some of them have pet grooming uh, centers, gift shops, hair salons, etc. So there's a lot of things that a condominium could have. And of course, that's all included in the fee. So you have to pay a, a cost for that, of course. And part of the fee goes into the reserve fund. And the reserve fund is like a bank account. It's like your savings account at home. So if there's not enough money in the reserve fund in a condominium corporation to pay for some of the breakdowns like elevators, indoor pools, uh, the fitness equipment needs to be upgraded, etc., then the condominium corporation has to dig into this reserve fund and ask a lot of the, or all of the unit owners that is, to share an equal cost in upgrading all of this equipment. The nice thing too about uh, condos is that you have, in most cases, indoor parking. So when it's really cold out, like it is in many Canadian winters in Northeast uh, United States, you can just uh, get in your car, drive out the door, and your car is nice and warm. So that's about it for the condos, pros and cons. And is it for you? Well, that's up to you to decide whether or not you want to get into the condo living concept or not.